Julia Witt up with the author, sh author School Show. And I have with me this morning Kathleen Gage. She's the author of Power Up for Profits. And she's going to be talking about niche marketing today. So, Kathleen, tell us a little bit about niche marketing for books. Oh. I'd be happy to, Julia, and uh, you know, thank you for inviting me to share uh, a little bit about niche marketing. Uh, my book, if you notice, it's Power Up for Profits, The Smart Woman's Guide to Online Marketing. That subheading is where we really niche down. It was about women, marketing, and using the internet. So it was pretty specific, and I, I had some men say, well, is the book not for me? And it, it's not that it's not for men, but it helped with our marketing to say, the Smart Woman's Guide to Online Marketing. And one of the things that I notice with authors is that oftentimes they, they think that everybody is going to read their book. And the reality is, is if you can really fine tune who would be a good reader, and then from that point, you would go and find where that reader hangs out. For example, let's say that you happen to, uh, your book is geared towards dog trainers that work specifically with uh, guard dogs. Well, you would probably not want to market to poodle owners because normally a poodle is not a guard dog. So you want to get really specific about, okay, who would be interested in this book? Uh, who would be interested in my expertise? Because I work primarily with nonfiction authors and uh, whether they write business books, self-help books, spiritual books. And so that's the perspective that I come from is looking for those people who would be interested in who you are as an expert. Because the more that you can identify who wants to read your book and who are you an expert in their eyes and their mind. And from that point, you can find Facebook groups. You can find LinkedIn groups. You can tweet out very specific messages that are targeting those groups of people. And when you tweet, make sure that you use hashtags that are specific to the market that you want to go after. Another thing that you can do is you can write articles that would be specific to that particular market. So it really helps if you can fine tune who do I think would read this book. And that takes some upfront work. You know, yeah. one, one thing I know about authors is a lot of them think that the hard work is writing the book and actually you and I we were talking about that how really that's not the hard work the hard work comes in the marketing it and does. so the more targeted you can be the better off and even a fiction writer can target because there's historical fiction you know Absolutely. spy thriller with your genre then you can kind of target your market Absolutely. Uh, let's say that you have a, a novel, and I'll use your example of a historical novel, and it takes place, let's say, in Boston uh, around the turn of the century. Well, you can find groups of people that would be very interested in that specific uh, time period and that geographic location. So again, it really is about doing your upfront homework. It's about taking time to be strategic in what you're doing. And another thing that I really encourage my clients to do is to look at what I call the end game. The book for many people is a lead into other opportunities, whether it be coaching, consulting, whether it be speaking engagements, but all of that ties in with your niche market. I just got back from doing a conference in Atlanta, Georgia, and a very, very targeted market. Um, that opportunity came as a result of really knowing who my end user and my end reader is. And so if you can take the time up front to identify who you really feel would be interested in your book and then look for all the opportunities to get in front of them, you're going to create a lot more uh, financial opportunities, book buying opportunities, uh, speaking if that's what you want to do. A lot of authors don't want to speak. Others, other, other authors really do want to speak. So again, it really ties into that one key piece of information. Who is your reader? Yes. I agree. <laughs> it is so much easier to write if you know who you're writing for. The promo is whole, another whole writing project. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There's a number of things that you, you have to put together in your promo. One is your book one sheet. Another might be if you are going to go out and speak, your speak, a speaker one sheet. But knowing 
what keywords you need to use because all of that plays into the online aspect and with many authors they haven't even tapped into the power of what the internet can do to get them in front of their audience I'll give you a great example I have a client that recently finished her book and one of the things that we're doing is ha we're encouraging people to take a picture a selfie with the book and post it on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+, anywhere that she can get traction, have people post it and come up with the most creative image that they possibly can. And what happens is, a, a good friend of mine, Brian G. Johnson, he uh, has a book called Trust Funnel, and he had hundreds of people that were, they were out uh, trying to outdo the next person by doing funny pictures with his book, and all of a sudden it went viral and, and really got some great traction, and he became a number one bestseller on Amazon in every single category, got great overall position, and it all had to do with creating a fun experience in the marketing with the people that were the target market that he wanted to go after. So I really encourage authors to get playful in what they're doing, uh, look for outside the box ideas on how you can market, and do what you can to let people know that you have a book because a lot of authors they expect that once their book is written and once it's up on Amazon it's going to somehow get legs of its own and it's going to become a bestseller with no effort and you really have to be strategic in all you do and every day you have to do something so again it really ties in with who is that end user where do they hang out and what can you do to get in front of them nowadays with podcasting oh my gosh the opportunities are unbelievable and if you know who your target market is, you can find podcast shows that get literally millions of downloads a year and your, your book would be in front of them if you're clear on who the end user is. Right. That's right. That's, yeah. And did you write an article for us? Speaking of articles, we have I, a newsletter and I hope, I was hoping for an article from you. I will get you one for sure. Wonderful. Because that's another, that's another really great way to get your message out there and to position your expertise. Um, it, regardless of whether you're writing novels, regardless of whether you're writing uh, nonfiction books, it's really about positioning you in somewhat of a celebrity status. And I'm not talking celebrity at the Oprah level, I'm talking celebrity within your market because the more visible you are, the easier it is to sell your books it's just a fact of life if people know you exist if they know your books exist then it's much easier to to get them to buy the books and so writing articles would be a great idea media releases would be a great idea let's say that you write for boomer women well find publications that target boomer women write articles see if you might be able to uh, have a um, a advertorial put in there maybe they'll do an interview with you and they'll feature your book there's uh, so many opportunities that people miss because they don't ask for the opportunity and so really it's about you asking for what you want and um, we're about out of time so tell us where people can pick up your book absolutely they can go to amazon.com and they can key in Kathleen Gage and they'll find power up for profits at the very top and uh, there's the Kindle version and there's the paperback uh, version and I would suggest even though I love Kindle I would suggest get the paperback because it's so content driven that you're gonna wanna highlight in the book you're gonna wanna take notes and really put that book to use because that one book will help you more as an author than just about anything out there because it's it's 20 years of knowledge of how to market as an author and as a speaker okay well, thank you very much for being with us today. You bet, Julia. Thank you.